Greetings, web surfers! Ready for another exciting tale? Actually, this uh, this tale's not too exciting. Um, it's it's kind of a tragic tale, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Um, it involves Jeff's birthday present. Uh, a little while ago, I came up with an awesome idea. There was something that I saw that I was like, "Wow, I have to get Jeff that." It's something that like you know, it's something that he's going to basically use every day. Uh, he's going to have it for a long time. It's going to be something that he's going to really cherish. It's going to be something really cool. Okay. So the nature of this blog, um, video blog, is that I can't really give away what the present is. So I'm going to have to speak in general terms about a lot of stuff. So for example, I'm going to talk about two different stores that I went to. The first store we're going to call Shop A. The second store we're going to call Shop B. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, cool. So here's the deal. Um, the type of shop that I go to, um, I don't go there a whole bunch. I maybe spend like 200 bucks a year there. Um, I, that's only maybe going in a few times, maybe like five or six times a year. You know, maybe not buying everything every time. Uh, but it's the type of shop where essentially they're going to sell everything from T-shirts to DVDs to LCD monitors. Um, so it, it sells pretty much everything, but they specialize in one or two things. And one of those things would be collectibles. And as if you guys are watching this, then you know that me and Jeff like uh, spend way too much money on collectibles. So here's basically the deal. <clears throat> I go into shop A and it's right before they close, like at least a good like, you know, half hour before they close, but basically I'm, I'm going to be their last customer of the day. Um, and I find something that's it's unique, it's one of a kind, it's really one of those things where if I get it, you know, there's really only one of them. It's from a company that would make several things in this line, but the one that I'm getting for Jeff is it's one of a kind, it's, it's pretty expensive. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we're talking like around 200 bucks. So, you know, but Jeff's worth it, so I decided, you know, you know, this is something that Jeff's going to love. So it's one of a kind, it's something that, you know, he's going to have forever. <clears throat> and um, I pick it out, and I'm, I'm settling, you know, everything, and um, I had never worked with the girl who, you know, was selling me it, and essentially, uh, you know, she's really nice, really friendly, really professional, and this guy uh, comes up behind me, and he obviously just needed to do something real quick, so I said, well, why don't you go ahead while, while I'm waiting, because I'm taking a little bit more time. And he basically is asking her questions about something he bought at, we'll call Shop B. And I was just goofing around. I said, yeah, you don't want to shop at Shop B. Shop B is stupid. They're not as friendly. The prices are, are bad. And, you know, overall it just sucks. Like, I hate Shop B. You should always shop at Shop A, because Shop A is the best. And essentially, he says, okay, well... I'm going to go return my stuff that I bought at Shop B, and I'm going to I'm going to come here and buy something. And I said, oh, God, you cannot go wrong with Shop A. Shop A is the best. And, you know, this girl here, she is, she's number one. She's she's my favorite. She's my favorite employee here. You know, it's totally just BSing the guy. But, you know, I was getting really good service, so I wasn't unhappy with it at all. So when it came time to pay, <clears throat> essentially, I was given a couple options. There was a couple of things as far as, um, what I bought for Jeff, um, there was like a deluxe package, and the deluxe package was like 30 bucks more, and this just included a couple extra features as, as part of like what I was getting Jeff. And it was just one of those things where like, you know, I'm kind of like, well, I'm already spending like, you know, getting close to 200 bucks. I, I don't know. It's not a huge deal. It's not going to be a big deal at all. So I don't go, I don't go with, with, pack with the deluxe package and then I go home and all night I'm just thinking like god you don't know like I should just I should just gotten the deluxe package I should have just gotten the deluxe package and I'm gonna call him and I'm just gonna change it so the store doesn't open until like 10 and essentially I try to call him right at 10 and nobody answers I try 10.05 nobody answers I try you know 10.10 nobody's still answering so finally at about 10.15 someone answers and it's this guy who's just completely rude just completely completely rude different different guy obviously from who I the girl I dealt with the night before and just right away I just I'm real friendly and I say hey you know I want to just change my order just modify it real quick and he says nope can't be done and I was like oh well why not he said, no, once the order's placed, can't be done. Sorry, can't do it. We just, we just don't change orders. And I said, well, essentially, I bought something 
like right when you closed, that was your last customer. How could something have been ordered like that quickly? Like I know just from ordering things from vendors all the time, nothing works that quick. So essentially the guy just gives me a run around and he's completely rude about it. Just just blatantly rude. It's not even just like, oh hey, you know, I'll see what I can do. It's just it's just nope, nope, sorry, sorry. And I said, Well, let me talk to your manager. And he said, Well, man, my manager isn't here right now, but I'll get your number. So the manager ends up calling me and right away he's just kind of rude. He's like, Well, you know, we just don't change orders, you know, we just that's 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 not our policy. You already paid, so once once the payment's made, you can't do anything. And he's just, he's just really rude. And I said, well, you know, I don't know why it's such a big deal. And the guy says, you know, uh, well, the order's placed, the, they placed the order at 11 o'clock last night and it went through and it's already, it's already been shipped out. And the odd thing about that was I was already told there was like a three week wait time before the product would even be available. So like, obviously there was, you know, the map didn't add up. So... I'm just really kind of ticked off, and as anybody who knows me knows that when I get ticked off, I, you know, the, the, the fisticuffs come out, the scissor hands come out, and um, essentially I just say, fine, you know what, like, you know, I'm just going to dispute it with my credit card, and, uh, you know, fine, if that's, if that's the way you want to do it, I'll just dispute it with my credit card, as simple as that, and the guy says, you can't dispute it with your credit card because, uh, you know, it doesn't work that way, you already signed your receipt. And uh, and then he gets really rude and says, and and uh, also if you dispute with your credit card, I'll still get the money, and I'm not going to get get you your item that you bought. So I get I win both ways. So the guy's just totally unprofessional. I just basically tell him this is the most unprofessional behavior I've ever heard of. While I'm talking to the guy on the phone, I'm looking him up and notice that he's part of the Better Business Bureau, and I say, well, you know, I'm just going to contact the Better Business Bureau about this because obviously you're a member of that, so. Um, you're concerned about this, um, but, you know, we'll just go from there, and, you know, then he hangs up on me. And obviously he had a change of heart, because within a few minutes, um, he calls me back. And anybody who knows how the Better Business Bureau works, it's actually pretty serious, because you pay, like, thousands of dollars just to be part of the Better Business Bureau, and you're not supposed to get complaints. That's, that's part of the deal. So he calls me back and just says, like, you know what, I, I, I looked into it and, uh, well, uh, it hadn't been, it hadn't been ordered yet. So, I knew the whole thing was just BS, and, I, you know, I just thanked him for his time, and, you know, I was like, okay, whatever. So, essentially, I had to go into the store, and I was expecting to have another fight with, like, the manager, and if nothing else, I, I was actually kind of upset, because I didn't want to see the manager, who was really nice and really helped me out, and just basically tell her, like, gosh, I'm really sorry this didn't work out, but your boss is a jerk. Your boss is a total jerk. But she wasn't there, and I got the refund. Everything was fine. It was perfect. And then I decided to go to Shop B, because I can still order this same kind of, you know, item from this line of items um, from Shop B. And uh, I go into Shop B and set everything up, and everything's fine. And as I'm just, like, basically talking to the girl who is helping me, I just happened to say, yeah, I had a really bad experience at one of your competitors. And I said, yeah, you know, they screwed me over and they were just really rude and the manager was this and blah, 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 blah. And then from behind, I hear a guy say, you're not talking about Shop A, are you? And I look behind me and it's the guy who I'd run into at Shop A who I told him to return his things at Shop B because Shop A is so much better. And now... He sees me at Shop B telling the lady at Shop B how much how bad Shop A is. So I was really embarrassed because basically I just BS'd him the whole time and, and he had like made the extra trip to come return his thing to to Shop B. He literally had his item in hand, like, you know, waiting to return his item. And uh I just kind of, I didn't know what to say, so I said, oh, hey, you know what, like, it's nothing against that shop, it's nothing against Shop A, Shop A's great, the manager's good, the service is always good, it was just this time I've had a really bad experience, and, 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 and the, I, I really don't appreciate the owner's business practices, so, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's the idea, and, um, so far, everything's in line for Jeff's birthday present, hopefully there'll be no more mix-ups, and, uh, We'll go from there, and uh, that's all I got, so uh, have fun on the web, folks. There's uh, lots of porn and some Star Trek stuff, 
and you might just uh, want to check out a little website that I like to call castingcouchteens.com. Um, it's, it's the highest quality porn. Yeah. Bye!